Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're looking at how you um, keep your baby asleep once you've actually once they've actually fallen asleep. Um, so you're probably going to have ended up with your baby somewhere up on your shoulder and they've gone um, into a nice deep sleep. And the way you know that they've gone into deep sleep is when you lift their hand and drop it, it kind of goes really floppy. There's no resistance there. So um, often what happens is if you go to put your baby down straight onto their back, what happens is they just kind of go like this and they startle and they wake up. And that's because we're carrying mammals. And if you remember back to the... Um, that session on normal infant behavior. This is their default position. This is where they feel nice and stable and secure. And when you go to put them down on their back, um, because they're a carry mammal, they think that they're falling um, and they're reaching up to grab onto you, okay? So what we want to do is we want to um, get them down onto the Moses basket or the cot without them um, activating that reflex. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my baby and he's nice and fast asleep and I'm just going to bring him forward a bit, turn him sideways and I'm going to pop his hands across his chest like this. And that's just going to give him an extra layer of stability. Um, and then I'm going to take him and I'm going to sit him down like this in the Moses basket, nice and slowly. I'm just going to wait a second or two. So there's little sensors that have activated in his bum and his legs. So he feels nice and stable. He still feels like he's supported somewhere. Okay, one hand on his back, one hand on his chest. I'm then going to lie him onto his side. Okay, that's very important. You don't leave a baby to sleep on their side. But this is the, the next step in this process. So we're putting him down on his side. We'll just wait for a second or two. And then we're going to roll him over onto his back from this position. Okay. So you've avoided that straight backward motion that's going to activate that startle reflex. In this position then you just wait a few seconds and then you can just gently release those little hands and walk away. And that's it.